Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwann. I'm the nerd in a snapback, and today we are looking at Fire Emblem Engage. Now, this is kind of a more of a formality for me, really. I I've already bought this game, okay? They the moment they announced the next mainline Fire Emblem game, I was like, buying it! I didn't, I didn't, they didn't, they could have put up a fucking JPEG on Twitter with a pre-order link and I would have been like, cool. And, and it could, the, the, the JPEG could have been this one that you see on the, the screen right now. Just Fire Emblem Engage, mainline Fire Emblem game, buy it now. And I've been like, okay. Uh, now I will say that like, while that sounds like I'm just like this massive Fire Emblem nerd, okay, I've played two and a half Fire Emblem games and one and a half of those don't count. My first proper Fire Emblem game was Fire Emblem uh, Three Houses, right? Sorry, because my, my, I got confused because my brain also was thinking of the one and a half games that don't count, which is Fire Emblem Warriors and Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. And I will say, like, my very first introduction being Fire Emblem Three Houses, I loved that game. That game was beautiful. That was fun. Very memorable. I enjoyed it a lot. The characters were cool. People still criticize me because I still only have played the Black Eagles campaign, and I chose the Crimson Flower, uh, Crimson Flower Fire route. I don't remember. That's the only route I've played. They're like, you haven't even played the whole game because you haven't played Golden Deer or Blue Lions or Azure Wind or Herbiner. And I'm like, don't care. I played through it once. I saw the credits. I enjoyed the hell out of it, and uh, I'm I'm good with that. Okay, I have very limited time, and Fire Emblem games are not short; <laughs> they are quite long because they are turn-based tactical RPGs. Okay, and it takes just, just the nature of the gameplay makes these games take longer. But that said, I really, really loved Three Houses, and so I was already committed to getting the next mainline Fire Emblem games. And this game has been memed to hell and back already, most be mostly because of Toothpaste Chan, or the main character that you can barely see above the M in the Fire Emblem with the red and the blue hair. Now, I've not actually seen anything about this game, so uh, let's go on a, a journey of discovery together. Let's begin. We live on the continent of Elios. Four realms surrounding a holy land at its center. A thousand years ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the fell dragon. We called upon heroes from other worlds to aid us. Heroes known as emblems. With them, the warriors of our nations fought as one. In the end, we were victorious in defeating and imprisoning the Fell Dragon. Fell Dragon sure looks alive like a snake. Years since our world has been safe, but now I sense a resurrection. The binding weakens. Cool. It's Marth. What's up, buddy? You're awake. Huh? You're really awake, yeah? A thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep. <laughs> what are those horrible things? Looks like Fire Emblem. You are a divine dragon. A member of a royal family of dragons. Oh, those animations look nice, though. The fell dragon. I feel like I can almost remember. But... I've had my eye on you. The ring. Marth, right. <laughs> oh man, we, we got freaking stands up in here. Fire Emblem JoJo's rocking it out. Did we frickin' fusion technique with Marth? Please grant me your strength. Yeah. 
She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. It's a cool fucking looking dragon. Yeah, Athena Toothpaste Chan is what they've been calling the main character. Uh, they've been mostly using it in reference to the female protagonist rather than the male one that we saw on this. Uh, because their design in terms of the red plus blue with the white crest toothpaste, so people have just been calling him Toothpaste Chan. Uh, I, I, I don't actually have a problem with the main character's design. Like, have you guys freaking played Fire Emblem? Like, come on. Like, this, this, these games are so anime and so weeby, and you're going to complain about an anime character design? Like, seriously, are you new to this? <laughs> All right, anyway, so that was the initial announcement trailer uh, from September of 2022. That was one of the things, is that this game was announced in September and it's releasing in January, and it still has the January release date. It hasn't been delayed, at least at the time of this recording. So for a game to be a pretty major game to be announced and then released four months later, I like this. I wonder if all 12 rings are previous Fire Emblem characters. I understand. I'll collect the rings. I swear to you. <laughs> oh, we pinky promised. That's fucking adorable. <laughs> oh my god. Help me. Lend me your strength in this fight. I am known as Marth. Emblem Marth, to be clear. Yeah, we know who you are, Marth. I was able to answer your call because you remembered me. But then a dark presence emerged. It's like a wyvern. Hello, crazy dragon. What was I like? Well, you were kind, as you are now. There's no need to remember everything at once. The animation work, again, very beautiful, very striking. Please, come with me to Pyrene. An alliance with Brodia took some doing. Their king's an ambitious man. Brodia, the kingdom of might. It's a giant arrow. I greet you as the crown prince of Brodia. Solm is an open-minded country. They've always had good relations with Fyrne. Your design is fun! Lucky me mad, huh? I take it Illusia isn't in the alliance. We know it's snowy there with long winters, and that some illusions with yeah. the fell dragon. You think that dude isn't Come evil? Closer. I'll give you a good long look. I will now take your lives. Your oh, why do you gotta be evil? And the rings. He is not yet at full strength. Holy shit! My kingdom has another emblem ring in its possession. Well, isn't this tragic? By virtue of your science, we will now kill every living soul in this castle one by one. I oh, so violence, tragic. But I will always fight to defend the innocent. Hey, Roy. I'm just passing through. Well, looking for someone, really. Still, despite everything we're facing, I'm calm. I think it's because An you're Ike? Here, Marth. We are not going anywhere. I only recognize these characters because they're from Smash Brothers, by the way. I still have actually only played three houses. You silly divine dragon. Did you think emblems were just a you thing? Not by a long shot. Marth? Marth? Oh, it's evil Marth. You can tell because his hair turned red. It just looks like Ganondorf right there. But wait, there's more. Okay, so that was the Divine Dragon Awakens trailer. That was from November 16th. This is the Engaging with Emblems trailer from November 23rd. Now, it's time to engage. Emblem, engage! 
I can't wait to marry previous Fire Emblem characters. They even wear it on their freaking wedding uh, finger, their, uh, their ring finger. Fire Emblem engage game. You, command you engage the them? Come on. They knew what they were doing. And lead them to victory. I won't falter. New to this installment of the turn-based tactical RPG series, battles can be enhanced through the use of rings that hold the power of emblems, heroes from Asia's past. It's time to remember this. When equipped with emblem rings, All these rings are making me think of the is Isekai Oji-san series. Power ...and giving the units access to special skills. As you can see, there's a significant difference when confronting the same foe. Oh yeah. Guided by the emblems. You can even take your battles a step further by engaging emblems and fusing them with your units. While engaged... God, that looks fucking sick! Weapons. And engage skills that grant your units special abilities. You'll also be able to unleash powerful engage attacks to decimate your foes. The emblems that dwell within each ring have their Foreign. own unique abilities. If you require Violet. and swiftness, I am all too happy to oblige. Here we have Sigurd, emblem of the Holy War. He has excellent mobility, and his gallop and gauge skill vastly increases the unit's movement. The unit can It's a really in-depth trailer. I mean, they they really want to show off the mechanic, I guess. Override allows you to run through a line of foes. I wonder if they'll show off all 12 of the emblems, though. I would have expected them to kind of keep those as surprises of like which 12 characters from previous fire emblem games are we bringing into this game allows you to split up your magic attacks and inflict damage on two targets this is especially useful for finishing off foes who have been it also makes me wonder if they have other intentions as for the base design of this game fire emblem games are very inaccessible they are all very much locked onto whatever former Nintendo console they are on. Uh, like, Roy is from Fire Emblem Path of Radiance on the GameCube, and it's still only on GameCube. So, if they're working on getting some modern models in a newer engine, you know, we might be seeing some... Uh, like modern remakes, remasters, re-releases of older Fire Emblem games on a modern Nintendo platform. And add the water effect to the terrain. Use my power to guide everyone. This is Byleth, emblem of the Academy. Byleth grants the Instruct skill, which can be used to boost the stats of nearby allies so they can ace the battle. The Goddess Dance skill will not only boost your adjacent ally stats, but it will also allow them to act again. Oh, that's broken as shit. Oh my god. You're gonna give people an extra turn in a freaking tactical RPG? Oh. What game are you from, Lin? You remind me of Jade from Dragon Quest XI. Her Astra Storm skill can be used to unleash five consecutive attacks on a foe from a great distance. Engage status only lasts for three turns, but as you progress in battle, the engage meter will refill. Once replenished, you'll be able to engage again. Be sure to keep an eye on your meter and strategize around its progress. Wonder if things enemies do can affect your meter. Beyond the emblems themselves, Fire Emblem Engage introduces many new faces and personalities to the fold. They are all capable of equipping emblem rings, resulting in a wide range of potential combinations of units and emblems. Looks like they're only showing half of the units. There's another half that we don't know about. Be sure to experiment with different combinations to best utilize your emblems and their abilities. You would do well to remember that the tide of battle depends on your strategy. I'll help. 
They were like freezing poison fog earlier. New environment effects, maybe? I'm gonna get it. Yeah, one one real quick thing that I want to touch on is this part right here. This So it looks like they got some sort of poison fog going around the sides. This character runs over to the side, and we can see all this fog that's in the corridor to the left. It looks like poison smoke or gas or whatever. Well and they freeze it. The tide of depends on your which is unique. And their Sorry, I'm gonna take one one more closer you look. Well. Engage, dragon vein, add an effect. Vein of ice creates ice pillars that hinder movement, so you can create terrain. It floor plus miasma, ally defense resistance. It's just interesting that it freezes the miasma. Like it specifically froze the cells that had the miasma on it. Okay, so next up we got the expansion pass trailer. Gotta love Nintendo and modern video games in general announcing their DLC before the game's even actually out. The time has come. What's in it? Finally, we're free. Okay, the leader of the houses from three houses, Edelgard, Dimitri, and Claude. So three extra emblems, basically. I don't recognize you, but that's not too surprising. Emblem character Tiki. Yeah, I don't know who you are. Wait, hold on. It... <laughs> okay, okay, I was about to be like, this fucking releases day and date as the base game. Do you remember DLC Quest? I do not. There is also three more waves of DLC, which will probably most likely be um, more characters, and there will probably be at some point in this a significant story DLC because there was DLC for Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, for those who slither in the dark is the name of the faction that it was focused on. You didn't play as them. You were playing against them. Um, and it was a pretty significant chunk of story DLC that existed there. Okay, so this is the newest trailer. This just came out three days ago on December 15th. Uh, this is the one that I was waiting to get an English version of. This is the Welcome to Somniel trailer. This is talking about your home base or where you hang out and talk to and interact with characters and the it could be part of the dating mechanic side that exists within i believe most of the fire emblem games uh, so we'll uh we'll see what we're actually looking at here welcome to the somniel your home base in the fire emblem engage game in the sky as the divine dragon you can visit the floating fortress whenever you like whether you're taking a break or preparing for the journey ahead the Somniel is yours to enjoy. The Somniel has three main areas of focus. Gotta have our fishing mini game. Fuck yeah. Let's walk through them together. I'm ready. Let's go on an adventure. First things first, you should focus on preparing for battle. In the plaza, you can access the armory and item shop. Be sure to stock up before heading into combat. I thank you. Your design's so cool. We have the ring chamber. Emblem rings you've collected are kept in this room. And you can communicate with the emblems held within. Skills can also be inherited here. As your bonds with emblems deepen, you'll be able to inherit skills from them to use in battle. Bond rings can be created here as well. What is a bond ring? By equipping rings made from bond fragments, you'll receive a boost to your stats. 
bond rings can be melded together to form even more powerful rings. You can deepen your bonds with emblems by polishing their rings after they've been tarnished in battle. A little weird, but okay. This door leads to the arena. Excuse me while I go polish my ring. Well, here, you can participate in practice battles to gain experience, among other benefits. Nice. I'll take I'll take uh, supplementary the battles. the furthest point of the Samuel stands the Tower of Trials. Challenge modes? Take on a series of battles to earn in-game rewards. Or participate in various trials, such as creating and sharing your own battle map with other players. Oh, neat. Okay. Very cool. You know, something they haven't mentioned yet is if this game has permadeath in it. All the other Fire Emblem games have permadeath. You might see friends and familiar faces from your travels here. They need breaks it probably does, but they are definitely avoiding mentioning it. Is paramount to a successful army, so chat with them every chance you get. Here we have Cafe Terrace. You can place an order with whoever's on cooking duty and share a meal with your friends. Depending on how the meal is prepared, I hope it is to your liking. What an exceptional meal! You and your ally stats might be affected in the next Definitely battle. bringing in a lot of mechanics that were present in three houses. Ooh, something shiny. <laughs> Items you find can be given to allies as gifts. Give them something they like to further deepen your bonds. Remarkable. I saw a dog. On in the Somniel is everything else. At the farmyard, you can take care of animals that you find out in the world. You can raise a camel, a donkey, and a cat all at the same time. Ever home, and you might be rewarded. Speaking of animals, there's also a mysterious creature called Sami, who has been here since time immemorial. Legend says that good things come to those who care for it. Well, you can pet it. That thing just poop out a bunch of icicles. And accessories at the boutique. So you and your allies can slay in style. Who wrote this script? Holy shit. And in the training yard, you can work out to temporarily boost your stats. I haven't seen anything in terms of time management. Three Houses had a very rigid time management mechanic, which, like, was rough because you really had to balance out, like, what you were going to do each day that you had. It's nice to kick back and focus on something other than the battles ahead. That looks fun. Makes me think of the rail car game from Final Fantasy VII. Amiibo figures to receive useful items. By tapping Amiibo from the Fire Emblem series, you'll receive that emblem's attire and music from games in which they originally appeared. Neat. Also, the fact that all of previous sure Fire Emblem, well, not all, but a lot of Fire Emblem outfits are in the game if from previous Emblem ga Fire Emblem games, again, makes me think they're working on you're free to lie down modern releases quarters. of former Fire Emblem games. A lot of money in that. Sometimes while napping, an ally might wake you up. Knock, knock. Excuse me? The alpaca hero is hero! Morning, Divine One! I'm gonna throw you off the island for that line. Rise and shine! You get yeeted off of the floating sky fortress for saying the alpaca hero. Preparing for battle. To connecting with your allies. This truly is the place for an aspiring adventurer. Stop by when you can to make the most of your journey. 
fire emblem engage available january 20th only on nintendo switch yeah don't you worry are available now on the nintendo i already am getting it you don't yeah it's fine it's fine they're like yeah but this trailer isn't for people that have already gotten it oh Sucker, nerd. Anyway, so that's Fire Emblem Engage. Uh, I do believe there was also one other thing that was it wasn't mentioned either these in any of these trailers, and so I was waiting to see if it was mentioned in any of these trailers. I do believe that there was either like a developer interview or something along those lines. Where's a, a good shot of the main character? Is that there is a sort of karma mechanic in this game or a good versus evil mechanic in this game now i don't know if this is for certain but i'm just expressing it here for the sake of completion uh, completeness and potential information is that we did see in one of those previous trailers a main character that had full red hair and i do believe that there are paragon and what's what what, what renegade style if we're going mass effect reference style decisions that you can make in the game and as you become more of a good person or a bad person your hair color will shift towards which direction you're going paragon being blue and renegade renegade being red and that's why you have the interweaved colors so by the end of the game if you've made a bunch of what most people would see as evil options or more aggressive or more bad boy options your hair will be more or entirely red and if you have been making more paragon or good or you know however you want to view it uh decisions your hair will shift towards blue i believe that was confirmed in an interview with one of the developers but i don't actually know for certain so i could be wildly wrong and just completely speaking out of nothing but you know it it is the same it it, it 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 is what it is that we've presented that information that's fire emblem engage there's still a couple of systematic questions i have the main one being about the idea of permadeath it's a very long running staple of fire emblem and it <laughs> And it's something that is contentious, kind of like XCOM, right? Of like, do you reload your save? Do you save scum it up? Or how do you approach this? Uh, it looks great. It looks really good. If they are building, bringing all these models in for this game so that they can build newer versions of older Fire Emblem games, I'm all for it. This game looks good. And if it leads to that benefit to future releases, that's super sick as well. I'm looking forward to this. That is Fire Emblem Engage, releases January 20th, exclusive to the Nintendo Switch. But I feel like Fire Emblem being exclusive to the Nintendo Switch isn't actually that big of a problem. It's got a very stylized, cel-shaded anime approach that looks really good on the platform, and being that it's a tactical turn-based strategy RPG, so you're seeing slower, more intentionally presented animations from specific angles, and otherwise it's this grid-based combat. It works very, very well on the system and can still run well and look well. And so I think it's actually a great game to be locked on the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, I'd like it to be on other stuff. It never will be because it's a Nintendo property, so you'll never see this on PC or PlayStation or anything like that. But it looks great. Looks like it's going to play great. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So that is Fire Emblem Engage. Let me know what your thoughts are. I definitely am already committed to getting it because of how much I enjoyed Three Houses. If you're a longtime Fire Emblem fan, how are you feeling about this modern approach? How do you feel about Toothpaste Chan? Uh, if you are new to Fire Emblem, what are your thoughts on this one? If you've ever played one, if you've never played one before, is this going to be the one that you're going to get? Has it made you more or less interested in the franchise? keep up the conversation in the comments below or you can do so on discord and twitter speaking of discord we have a channel dedicated to these reactions where you can place links of your own that we can check out together live on stream because we do stream on twitch and i would love to see you there if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like if you want to catch future videos please subscribe to the channel do you watch one of the other videos on the channel or if i see you in the live stream thank you and enjoy Thank you.